YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today was a great day for making coins on FIFA 23. And in this video, we're going to be going over our investments. We're also going to be going over a few investments you should be making right now to be making coins on this game. And then we're also going to take a peek at expected content in the next few days. But before we do all that, we're going to talk about content today on Saturday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Saturday was incredible. Our team of the week cards were all selling for around 28,000, 29,000 coins. And a lot of their max prices are 30,000 coins. So I got a lot of sales. You can see I am up at 2.7 mil. If I sell all my team of the weeks for 30,000 coins, I'm at over 20 million coins. So, I mean, I'm pretty much there. So I'm in a great spot right now, making a lot of coins on this game. And let's go into content. Peter check. We got a Peter check SBC. This dude is so cheap. He had a team of the week requirement as well, which is huge. And um, I mean, he's a really cool card. I love this concept from EA adding goalkeepers into the game and just you know, it's June. We're at the end of the game. So let's add some cards that are fun. We have a six foot five Peter check in game. My stream was telling me they said, yo, he's got the helmet in game as well. So that's pretty cool. He's got five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's a striker with 99 heading accuracy and 94 jumping. So, I mean, it looks like we're going to be rocking a full goalkeeper team. We got Peter Cech. We got Malinkovic Savic. We got Neuer. We have... I think Emmy Martinez is coming out. We have a Pepe Reina. People are just going to be rocking goalkeeper teams at this point, which I, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, there's some people out there that are like, oh, it's it's so unrealistic. I, I hate when they do this. It's, it's a video game. I think it's pretty dope. Obviously, the playoff upgrade SBC refreshed again. Uh, the, that SBC refreshing and the Peter Check SBC with the Team of the Week requirement was making us some good coins. And then we got a new year in review player pick shapeshifter challenge five as well i actually didn't even look at this because i saw that the pack wasn't that crazy but uh you know there's no point for me to look at it i guess because it doesn't look like it was that crazy of an sbc so yeah moving on we got the year in review player pick all the way back here this thing is hot ass it is booty cheeks don't do this sbc it is only an 84 and an 86 overall squad and but there's a team of the season requirement in the 86 overall squad and team of the season cards are like 70,000 coins so you just made a casual 86 overall card and you've just added 70,000 coins on top of it because you have to do a you have to add a team of the season card and I do want to mention with this guys at content drop if you see a big SBC come out with the team of the season requirement these cards just they just keep going up team of the seasons I think we're like 67 68k somewhere around there we got the team of the season requirement in this year in review player pick and they jumped up to i think like 66 67 68,000 coins somewhere in that range and they're right back down again at about 68 69,000 coins so you know tomorrow on sunday if we do get you know the icon sbc again with team of the season requirements you might want to you know buy team of seasons at content drop and then just sell them like 15 20 minutes later and take your profit so that's what we got Ooh, i don't want to buy that that's what we got for content check was awesome shapeshifter challenge who cares year and review player pick is this thing is booty cheeks team of the week requirement would have been great and fodder really didn't move fodder really did not move because i mean this thing was it's not that crazy and it's just it's very outdated because you get players from sbcs and objectives from march april and may it doesn't include icons and the cards are just it's nothing compared to the new shapeshifters we're getting, the team of the season cards we've had. So it's just, it's disappointing. But now that we've gone through all that, before we go over the investments, I'm just going to say it now. I have no compensation news. I've got nothing. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're working on the new FIFA and that's why we haven't seen any compensation. That's what some people have said. It's taking a while because most people are working on the new game. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I have no idea. So let's go over our investments now. We've talked about how you can buy 85s and buy team of the weeks potentially, but when it comes to these team of the weeks now, I mean, is it worth it? I'm at a point where I'm asking, is it worth it to still buy these team of the weeks? They are currently, I think like 26, 
about 26,000 coins. Let's just make sure that market is correct. Yeah, so they're about 26,000 coins right now. If you could get for 25K, I'd say, okay. You know, that might, that, that that's probably might be worth it. But if you can't get for 25K and you have to pay like 26K, we're thinking about it like this. Their max price is 30,000 coins. Are we hoping that EA update their price ranges? Is that gonna happen? We're not too sure. And then, you know, are we gonna get more team of the week requirements or are EA going to release a tradable team of the week SPC? It's it's at a point where you're paying so close to their max price range. It's like, is this worth it necessarily? I don't know. But if you do wanna pick these up for 25K, I mean, Yes, they'll probably rise a little bit tomorrow. I think the only way we see team of the weeks go back up to like 28, 29K is if maybe we get another player SBC that requires a team of the week because I don't think the icon SBC, if it refreshes again tomorrow on Sunday, I don't think it's going to have a team of the week requirement. If it did, team of the week's extinct instantly. But yeah, I don't think the 84 times five SBC refreshing every day is necessarily gonna make these team of the weeks fly a crazy amount. But if you wanna take the gamble again at 25K, go for it. I'm still holding mine. I, I mean, somewhat holding. If I can get the sales at 28,500 coins, I mean, you can see right here, I only streamed for an hour today, so I didn't continue to sell these cards. I had a birthday party and a graduation party to go to. So I wasn't around, but I mean, if I can sell these cards at like 28, 29k i'm not gonna get too greedy and i'm not gonna gamble some people were asking personally i'm not gambling on ea updating the price range on these team of the week cards i'm taking the profit pretty much you know they're pretty much max price so when they are around 28 29k again i'm gonna take that profit i'll be at like 20 million coins i'm all set it's it's june it's almost july i'm all set 20 mil i'll do whatever sbcs i want now i'll open whatever packs i want and i'm good for the rest of the game so that's my take on team of the weeks. Now, the other side of the investments that I think could be really solid is fodder. When it comes to fodder, let's just take a peek at footbin real quick. When it comes to fodder, the low rated fodder is very low. There's been almost nothing really requiring low rated fodder recently. So it's the lowest it has been in months i don't even remember the last time 83s were below a thousand coins maybe like pre-team of the season i don't even i don't even know but 83s they're literally min price at 850 i've told you guys this it's pretty much it's pretty much zero risk if you can get someone like cody Gakpo for 850 coins on bid that is a very 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 good deal and i would buy something like that and now 84s are so low i told you guys in the previous video we were talking about 84s trying to get them for closer to 2000 coins and i think that's fairly doable if they're around like two three two four i mean it looks like they're all like 2400 coins i would assume like 2.2 2 .2, 2 .1, 2 000 coins 2100 coins 2200 coins if you can get that on bid should be fairly easy i think that's solid and then 85s i'd say they're really low i mean this is the lowest they have been in i think like a month if you can get them closer to 6,000 coins, anything like 6.2, 6.3, that's probably fine. And then 86 overall cards, you're gonna try to get for below 9K, I'd say closer to 8,500 coins. Now, when it comes to higher rated fodder, I don't know if these ones are gonna rise too much. Like it's 83s and 84s, I don't know if they're gonna really rise tomorrow on Sunday, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when we can see that happening. Maybe the 85s and the 86s can rise if that Icon SBC comes out again. But the thing is with the high rated fodder, it is down. Don't get me wrong. High rated fodder is down, but it's not down crazy like the 86s, like the 85s, like the 84s, like the 83s. It's just, I'm going for what looks like it's low, like really, really low. And we're looking at 83, 84, 85, 86. And I'm thinking it's about time for some of this low rated fodder to start getting required because in the pack code, we had leaked an 84 plus times three pack to be coming to the game and an 84 plus times 10 pack to be added to the game. And some people were thinking, you know, maybe that's like an objective pack, but if you go through and look at the objectives, maybe it was like for the Shapeshifter Cup. Maybe it was for, I don't know, a, a, some sort of Shapeshifter Challenge. I don't know, maybe one of those Shapeshifter Pepe Reina. You never know. But I did not find, I think there was an 84 times three in here somewhere. 84, no, I'm not there. Maybe here. 
but I could not find an 84 times 10 anywhere. And I don't know if there's an 84 times three anywhere either. 84 double, 384 plus, but I think that's that's been out. So I don't think that's something that would have been added like it was um, on the code, the foot scoreboard tweet with the pack code. So I think what I'm thinking is, hey, we're probably gonna get an 84 plus times three SBC and an 84 plus times 10 SBC Monday and Tuesday. And hopefully they're repeatable. And I would, you know, I would predict an SBC like that to have a good amount of low rated fodder requirements. Like maybe, hey, the 84 times three is just like an 83 overall squad with 285s minimum. Or maybe the 84 times 10 is an 83 overall squad and an 85 overall squad. We could see, I'm thinking we're gonna see this week some low rated requirements in SBCs because lately it's been a lot of high rated stuff. That's why a lot of this high rated fodder rose a good amount. So hopefully we can see some low rated fodder requirements. 83s, 850, they literally can't go lower. So it's pretty low risk there. Let's see if we can just check out. I'm not gonna pull up 83s because they're all 850 coins. There's nothing for me to really show you guys there. If we pull up uh, 84s, let's just think about filters we could do. They start off at 1100 coins. So let's go something like that. We'll do min buy now. I think they're like two, four, max buy now 10K. A filter like this is something you could use to try to bid on 84 overall cards. Now, if you wanna get rid of some of the shittier cards, get them out of the way, like all these lower ones, you're gonna up the bid a little bit and probably put it around like 1.8 thousand coins and see if you can get look a lot more 84s when you do something like that so you know if you want to try to pick up some of these 84s it seems like a lot of them are going on bid for around 2.2k if you can get them for less than that amazing but that's that with 84s and if the icon spc tomorrow on sunday if it's you know a lot of high rated requirements there's a good chance that these 84s stay low and they might even go closer to 2,000 coins tomorrow on sunday and that'd be an even better time to be going in on these cards now Onto 85 overall cards. They're around 6,000 coins. So we could obviously do the low one. They start off at 2,100 coins and we'll probably go 6,2. And then min by now, we'll go 6,5. Not now, nah. min by now, we go 10,25. We'll go 10,25 right there. And this can show up with a lot of 85s, as you see right there. Look at these 2,100, 2,100. You can see 5,700. There's a lot of potential deals that you can be getting on bid when you do filters like these. Look, I mean, look at all these 2,100 coins, 2,100 coins, 6,000, 6,000. So it seems like a lot of the bids on 85s are around 6,000 coins. If you can do that, solid. And then 86 overall cards. I struggled to find a filter with these last time, but let's do like min price 8K, max price 8.8. Maybe we can try something like that. Yeah, we'll give that a shot and see what pops up. I guess that kind of works as well. You can pick all these up and the market's a little glitched right here. When you see something like that, the 40 seconds to the, now we're at like the sixth minute, it's just a glitched market. But definitely a filter like this could be decent for picking up some of those 86 overall cards. And that is what we like with fodder. 83 to 86 is yes, high rated fodder can do good, especially with that icon SBC. But I'm thinking, hey, maybe that 84 plus times three pack is an SBC. Hey, maybe the 84 plus times 10 pack is an SBC. And hopefully some of that stuff can refresh and we can see low rated fodder start to rise because it's getting ridiculously low. It is the lowest that has been in like over a month. If we if we check out some of these cards, I mean, I'll just show you guys real quick so you can see. Let's look at Dybala. How low has he been recently? We'll click one month and this is the lowest he has been in a month. I mean, it might even be longer than a month. The next one, I'll click three months so we can see 85 overall cards. They're close to 6,000 coins. We'll hit three months on them. And the last time they were pretty much this low was in May. So a month ago. <laughs> the last time they were this low was a month ago. Almost technically almost two months ago because it's the beginning of May and we're coming up on the beginning of a month and a half. Let's say that. So, you know, these cards are very, very, very low. 84s, let's just check it out. We're going to go one month. When's the last time they were close to 2,000 coins? I mean, I don't even know. When is the last time they were close to 2K? They haven't been this low in over three months. Are you shitting me? They haven't been when when's the last time they what are they two they're, they're basically like 2400 coins the last time they were 2400 coins was in december christmas time was the last time 
these 84s were this low. That is getting very, very low. And I mean, I just showed you guys, they're going on bid. I, I picked probably one of the most expensive cards I could have chosen out of all of them. I, you know what? That probably didn't help because I picked Carvajal. <laughs> one second. Let's just check one more and, and see. We'll go six months. When's the last time we saw them this low? And it's still the same situation. It's going to be Christmas time. Wow. So 84s is the lowest they have been since Christmas. So that is crazy right there. Um, but yeah, that's that for investments, making coins. I mean, I, coin wise, I, I don't really do trading methods anymore because I just don't think it's worth the time. I, I'll just throw this in. I don't know why I'm throwing this in, but you guys know 10, 20, 30. You can even just do special and just make sure the min price is 10K. You just look for cards with bids and that's it. Find a card with a bid, look it up on Footbin. And if it's a deal on bid, you're good. So like, say, I know this isn't a, I know I'm not going to get a good deal on bid, but we see Zinchenko with the 60K bid. We look Zinchenko up on Footbin. Footbin says Zinchenko goes for 70K. And that's, that's really all you do. So trading, there you go. I just don't think it's worth trading anymore because you can just simply invest on the weekend, play the game, go outside and touch grass and then come back on Wednesday and you made a ton of coins. So that's that with fodder. And with fodder, <coughs> you're going to sell it when it rises. But like, I would guess the sell time for all this fodder that I've mentioned is Wednesday or Thursday with the gold fodder. With the team of the weeks, if they hit like 30K, I'm just selling them. That's that's basically it. So I'm probably selling my team of the weeks tomorrow or on Monday. That's my guess. And then uh, that's expected content. 84 plus times 3 SBC, 84 plus times 10 SBC. That's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing we have the icon SBC tomorrow on Sunday mini release tomorrow on sunday and that is it i got nothing else to say you know invest your coins guys this fodder is very low and i'm hoping we can see a good rise this week i think this is a week for fodder to make a comeback and start to really rise and make us a good amount of coins but guys that is it if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below my free trading discord my twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace